My name's Julia Hardy and this is The Gaming Show. On this episode, we're going to be taking a look back at all of the great titles that have just been and gone and casting our eye forward to all the ones that are just twinkling on the horizon. But before we jump ahead to 2018, let's cast our eye back to the fantastic year of gaming that was 2017, where we were totally spoilt for choice and got not one, but two new consoles. Microsoft's super-powered Xbox One X. Excited for the new future, you know? And the Play Anywhere Nintendo Switch. <laughs> PlayStation fans have been kept very busy this year too, with a constant stream of back-to-back -back incredible titles, including Horizon Zero Dawn, a game that finally made robot dinosaurs cool. So will 2018 be an even better year for games? We thought we'd pull together some of the most exciting titles. One of which is, of course, God of War. But while the series' bloodthirsty anti-hero Kratos was previously tearing limbs off of Greek legends, 2018's God of War heads for the icy north. This game casts the player as a Kratos now surrounded by creatures from Norse mythology and deities that would ultimately become important to Viking culture. It's time to dust off that old pair of chaps from the back of your wardrobe. Don't lie, we've all got them. And head into the untamed wilds of America in the follow-up to the 2010 smash hit, Red Dead Redemption. Made by Rockstar Games, the same studio that brought us the mega franchise that is Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the most hotly anticipated games ever. Let's find out just why people are so keen to ride off into one of its sunsets. So Red Dead Redemption 2, why should anyone care about this game? Like, why are people so excited? Well, for a start, the first game was probably the best Western, no, it was the best Western game we've ever yeah, had. Right. That sounds like a really big sentence as well, but there haven't been a lot of great ones before Red Dead Redemption. What's going to change for this version of the game, do you think? Red Dead Redemption was really at the very end of the Wild West period. With this being a prequel, we'll actually get to see, instead of it being like the dying embers of the Wild West, we get to see it in its, in its element. Obviously, the original game was, you know, the story of John Marston, mm -hmm. Like, how is it going to work this time out? Who are we going to be playing as? Have there been anything kind of released, any of that sort of information? Yeah, it's interesting. We're not going to be playing as John Marston. Uh, so far, that's what we know. We know we're going to be playing as uh, Arthur Morgan. But Arthur Morgan, from the trailers we've seen so far, is a very different character to John Marston. He's still very much in a gang doing bad things. I think Rockstar really like showing that side of uh, humans, like uh, actually finding the good in, in bad characters. But the game's called Red Dead Redemption 2 still. They've kept the redemption, which we weren't sure if they're going to do, which suggests that maybe at some point later down the line that will change. Continuing on our journey from legends of the distant past to sharpshooters from the previous century, we arrive to present day USA. And we're going to take a look at Far Cry 5. Boom, boom. Boom. The game is rich, there's a lot of moving parts and it's organic. So I think the thing that I'm most interested is the stories that are going to come out of it. You know, we've been described in the past as this kind of glorious anecdote factory and that's true. So we really focus on trying to give the player the tools to be able to author the experience the way they want and that's incredibly gratifying to see. So we finally arrived in the post-apocalyptic future of The Last of Us Part 2 and joining me here is Lucy James. What do we know about the next game? So we know it's set five years after the uh, the events of The Last of Us. Yeah. We don't really know a lot other than that. We know that Ellie is really angry. And so she's there's the angry, first yeah. the first trailer that's released, you know, she's singing that beautiful song. She has this badass tattoo on her arm. And Joel comes in, he says something like, are you really going to go through with this? And she's like, I'm going to kill them all. Do you think they're going to nail it? Do you think it's going to be a good game? Absolutely. I have, I have such high faith in Naughty Dog after everything they've done in the past, I mean, in the past 10 years, obviously we've had Uncharted, which they've knocked out of the park. If you've played Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, I have so much faith in them. I just, I just want them to get on with it. Just get on with it, lads. <laughs> I actually found it incredibly difficult to whittle down the games, even to just this small list for this show, as there's a huge roster of fantastic titles that are going to be coming out in 2018. There's literally something for everyone, and that even includes Yanan. Don't forget to stay tuned throughout the year to The Gaming Show as we'll be bringing you all the hottest news and all the biggest stories in gaming. We'll see you soon.